In a previous video, we discussed the issues with the stock plastic extruder and the comments from you guys supported the idea that it wouldn't last. Yeah, the worst case being that it broke during assembly. In this video, we'll review a fairly inexpensive upgrade to a dual gear, but it has its own issue that we need to solve to make it last. So if you have one of these or plan on purchasing one, you'll want to stick around. A dual gear extruder is considered an upgrade. This one has steel gears which are plated. They grip tightly on both sides of the filament which in turn doesn't cut as deep and prevents the filament from deforming before it enters the Bowden tube. On AliExpress it sells for as low as 11 Canadian. On Amazon as low as 25. Making it one of the cheapest dual gears on the market. Cheaper isn't better and in this case there's a fairly big design flaw. Unlike the plastic single gear and upgraded metal single gear versions which have bearings which bolt onto a raised area, this one rides directly on the aluminum. It takes only a few hours of printing to see how quickly it begins to wear away the area below the gear. Fixing the problem is pretty simple though and it takes only a few minutes with some basic tools. First we need to remove the gear and the bearings which surround that bolt to keep them clean. We need to remove about a 32nd of an inch, a little less than a millimeter, and to keep our adjustment as parallel as possible with the original surface, I'll use a black marker to give me a good indication when we start. These gears are steel, however they're pretty soft and they file easily. We'll then sand the bottom using fine sandpaper, and the finer the better. Now the gear has been adjusted enough so that we have space to insert a washer below. We'll be making our washers from ordinary jugs. Plastic washers can be purchased or you can 3D print your own. The first and quickest way to make them is to use hole punches. These are for leather working. If you don't have punches, you can use a 2mm bit and drill the hole and trim the outside. Before we reassemble, make sure to clean the gear completely and remove any steel particles and dry it off. Because mine is mounted with the shaft in a vertical position, I'll be using grease to increase the life of the bearings and the bolt. I've only used this one a few times and there are already signs of wear on it, so I think it's important to oil or grease this. If you're switching from a single gear extruder, the E-steps will need to be adjusted before your first print. Mine changed from 103 to 138 when switching to this one from the metal single gear. I have made a few extra washers and I can easily keep an eye on wear and replace them as needed. This is a pretty simple and inexpensive fix for the dual gear and with this mod it should last a pretty long time. I think this is a design flaw with the dual gear. It should come with washers top and bottom as standard because the mounting orientation is different for each printer. So there are a few good points about this model. The construction is solid, it looks good, though I think I'd prefer mine in black. Oddly, it has a threaded hole before and after the extruded gears, and in my case it helps because my printer sits inside of the enclosure and the added piece of tubing allows me to find the hole more easily. PC4M6 fittings are through fittings and the holes allow the tube to bottom out so we can use the preload technique to prevent it from moving in and out. If you own this model and have had some problems with it, what have you done to fix them? Please let us know in the comments. As always, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and take care. We'll see you on the next one.